News at 5.30, Clanton Wimberly had plans to take one of his daughters back to school shopping the day he was killed. The crash happened early Saturday morning on Northwestern Highway in Farmington Hills. A Priya man spoke to his grieving family. Clanton Wimberly worked two jobs, running his remodeling business and working at a rehab clinic in West Bloomfield. In fact, he just finished work and was riding home when he was hit by two vehicles and both drivers took off. I just can't believe he's gone. I can't believe that I would never be able to talk to him again. Deborah Wimberly says her family was like the Brady Bunch. Between herself and Clanton, they raised five children together. She says years after their divorce, Clanton cared for her kids like they were his own. He's not her biological father, but he took good care of her. She was his daughter. I mean, he was just so wonderful with everybody he touched or met. They, you know, he was just an all around wonderful guy. Around 1230 Saturday morning, Clanton was riding southbound on Northwestern Highway just north of 13 Mile. He was hit from behind by a Dodge Ram traveling in the same direction. That driver took off. Farmington Hills Police say Clanton was then struck by a second vehicle and died at the scene. I'm actually very, very hurt that he dropped, he died so tragically. You know, it's like that type, that man there did not deserve to die like that. Wimberly says although she worried about Clanton riding his motorcycle, she knew how much he loved it. I always told Clanton, I said, why did you get that motorcycle? And he just gave us a smile, you know, and he loved it. Once he got on it and rode it, he, he couldn't get him off. Grieving and heartbroken. <laughs> she's clinging to Clanton's voice. Clanton, thank you for calling listening to his voicemail over and over again. I just don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose the sound of his voice. I hate the fact that I can't, you know, um, I'm not going to be able to see him no more. I just have all these beautiful memories um, to cherish. The 25 year old driver of that Dodge Ram later turned himself into Dearborn police. Farmington Hills police believe the other vehicle involved was a blue Ford. They're asking anyone who may have been in the area at the time of the crash to give them a call. Reporting for Farmington Hills, I'm Priya Mann, local four. Police say the victim was wearing a helmet. They do not believe alcohol was a factor.